case, so let's solve this one. So valid and invalid arguments. Now, an argument is uh, valid if tautology, so tautology means all true in the last column of the true table. Now, when constructing a true table, so the last column is the given. So if the value of this column all true, then this one is a tautology. But if the value of the last column uh, all false, then this true table is a contra addiction. But if a combination of uh, true and false, then this true table is a content gene So these are the three types of true table that tautology for all true, contradiction for all false, and if a combination of true and false, it's a Contingency. So we need to create a true table for every arguments for us to identify that that argument is a valid or invalid. But we have these uh, rules of inference to help us identify that this argument is valid. So we have this more exponents. So just uh, observe the equation. Uh, more exponents. This equation. Simplification, the conjunction, the disjunctive syllogism, and the hypothetical syllogism. So these are the different rules of inference, or these are the different valid arguments. So if the equation of an argument found on these rules of inference, then that argument is a valid. Now, in constructing an equation, for the given arguments, so we have this formula, so p sub 1, p sub 2, until p sub n, then the conclusion, that's q. So these are the premises, and q is the conclusion. Then to make an equation based from this formula, so we need to put a conjunction for every premise. So there is a conjunction after every premise, then for the conclusion, that's an implication. So implies Q. So this is how to create an equation from this given. Now, let's have this given. So Kyla is beautiful or she is a sexy. Then Kyla is not beautiful. Therefore, Kyla is sexy. So we need to identify if this given argument is a valid or invalid. So first, we need to convert this one in symbolic form. So the first uh, statement is P. So Kyla is beautiful. This one is P. Then we have this uh, connector, the OR, this, this junction. Then she is uh, sexy. This one is Q. Then we have Kyla is not beautiful. Since Kyla is beautiful, that's P. So therefore, this not beautiful, that's uh, not P. Or the negation of P. Then Kyla is sexy. This one is Q. So to create an equation from this given, so this is now our equation. So that's P or Q. Again, there is a conjunction every after a premise. So, N not P. Then for the conclusion, so implies Q. So, this is our equation. Then we need to check in the rules of inference if this equation found in the rules of inference. So, we have this disjunctive syllogism. So therefore, this argument is a valid argument by the disjunctive syllogism. Again, if the equation of the given argument found in the rules of inference, then that argument is a valid argument. Now, let's have the second example. 
If dogs can sing, then birds can fly. Birds can fly, therefore dogs can sing. So we need to create uh, an equation from this given argument. So if dogs can sing, this one is P. If then that's an implication, then birds can fly, this one is Q. Birds can fly, this is Q. Then dogs can sing, this one is P. So for our equation, so P implies Q, then a conjunction and Q, therefore implies P. So this is the equation, then check if found in the rules of inference. Now since this equation not found in the rules of inference, then we need to create a true table to identify that this argument is valid or invalid. So this is the equation. So P implies Q and uh, Q then implies P. Now, in constructing a true table, start with the given variables, the P and Q. Then not P, there is not P, not Q, there is no not Q. Then the parenthesis, P implies uh, Q. Then this uh, bracket, P implies Q and Q. Then the last one, just the given. Okay? So the values for uh, P, that's true and true. This one is false and false. Then true, false, true, false. So again, these values for P and Q are fixed. So for P, true, true, false, false. For Q, true, false, and true, false. Then we have this P implies Q. So P, R, to Q. Now take note for implication, only true implies false is false. The rest are true. So we have true implies true. This one is true. True implies false. So TF, therefore that one is false. Then false implies true. This one is true. And false implies false. This one is true. Then for this column, so we have this P implies Q and this Q, so uh, the connector, that's conjunction. So for a uh, conjunction, if there's an F, then the truth value is false. So just look for an F. So true, true, this one is true. F, so there's an F, this one is false. True and true, this one is true. F, so there is an F, this one is false. Then for the given, so this column implies to P because the connector is implication. So start on this column, arrow to this column. So only TF is false. So we have true implies true, this one is true. False implies true. This one is true. True implies false. This one is TF and that's false. And false implies false. This one is true. So this is the last column of the true table. Since it's a combination of true and false, this one is a contingency. So therefore, the given argument is invalid because only tautology is a valid argument. And for this last example, so if Bernard is handsome, then he is tall. Bernard is tall, then he plays basketball. Therefore, if Bernard is handsome, then he plays basketball. So again, we need to uh, make an equation from this given argument. So Bernard is handsome. This one is P. If then this one is arrow, then he is tall. This one is Q. 
Bernard is tall, this one is Q. If then implies he plays basketball, this is R. Then if Bernard is handsome, this one is P, then F. Then this one is arrow, he plays basketball, that's R. So the equation now, so we have P implies Q, then a conjunction, Q implies R, therefore implies P implies R. Then check in the rules of inference if this equation uh, is found. So we have this hypothetical syllogism. So therefore, this argument is a valid by the hypothetical syllogism. So this is how to identify if a given argument is a valid or invalid argument.